Hey, what's going on guys and girls? Alcoholic Phoenix here and welcome to another episode of Subnautica. So, my life pod was normally right here, right? Well, for some reason it's all the fucking way over there. I'm not exactly sure why, but I've read I've read it before that people's life pods just float away. And I guess this is uh, one of those times where it just floated away. I actually got to get out this pressure compensator that I put in here for the seam off, so I can I'll quickly hop in it and put that upgrade in it. And then we're gonna head Welcome over to towards the oh, floating the island. Because we need to look for some stuff and that to get upgrades for our Cyclops. So, we're going to head out that way. Welcome aboard, Captain. All right, thank you. Welcome aboard. Where's the upgrade thing? Oh, well, there we go. And then we put that in there. Okay, then we just drop that. Alrighty, no problem. Then we put that in there. So, what does that do? Okay, it adds an extra 100 to our crush depth. Not super helpful, but not bad either. All right. Now, I've got to remember it's... What is it? It's like this way or something, I'm pretty sure, the floating island. It's out this way. I'm kind of annoyed that my life pod just randomly floated away that's kind of a pain in the ass that it's all the way over there now i'm not sure if there's a way for me to like drag my life pod back i'll have to look it up and find out if there is because that's super annoying honestly i'm just trying to get a look at the floating island through the water it glitches out you can see it right there if i look see it you can see it right at the water edge it like glitches and renders in for you because of the water so you can see exactly which direction you've got to go which is of course really nice ooh we're gonna slow down we also are going to save because far too many times I've come over to a mountainous area whoa that's floating that's floating there's those two bases on the mountain I guess both just chilling in the air. What the fuck? Oh yeah, and then you see like a foggy haze come over the mountain or the floating island area. I mean, it's not really floating. I guess it is. It doesn't attach to the ground, does it? So I guess it is floating. So we got to explore down around this area. It's a pretty cool island though, honestly. Right. Very, very cool island. Right, let's head down. I'm not really sure how deep this goes though, that's the thing. Doesn't seem to be doing crazy deep, honestly. Oh, left turn. Wow. Let's just keep going straight down. Caution. Passing safe day. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Okay, I guess we can't go to the bottom bottom. I thought we could, but I guess that's that's as far as we can go. 300. Which is just as mo much as this upgraded Seamoth. That's fucking stupid. Honestly. I mean, I'm always tempted. If we park this right here. We could probably go out in the Seamoth now. We should be okay. <clears throat> I don't think there's reapers in this area, so we should be alright. I don't know, like, if there's any other harmful things, but I 
pretty sure there's no Reapers, so that's a positive. I think we need this stuff. Aluminium Oxide. Mm, not sure whether that's what we needed, but I guess I'm going to grab it, because why not? Is that Quartz? Fucking regular Quartz, although we are nearly out of regular Quartz. Like, that is... That's deep, dude. That goes deep. I guarantee you that goes like past like 500 meters. Diamond. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that goes past 500 meters. Oh, those assholes are here though. Didn't know that. That's great. I'm so happy. Those assholes are around. Fantastic. Absolutely awesome. Let's see, let's see. I've seen one piece of that crystal. There is another one. Aluminium oxide or whatever it's called. Oh. At least I'm glad I can upgrade for this so I can go slightly deeper now. Because I imagine... I also got told you can only mine this with the prawn suit, which kind of sucks. What the fuck? Uh huh. What is in here? What are all you magical specimens? Is that that? Oh, a fucking tiger plant. Asshole. I knew it. I go down in here? What's up with the creepy noises? What is that? Is that just diamond on the wall? Okay, prawn suit again, I guess. Oh, fuck me. <laughs> oh, this scared me. I don't know what's up with the fucking music and sounds, dude. That's what's creeping me out the most. It would appear that this goes somewhat deep. Caution, passing safe depth. Yeah, I can't go any deeper than this. Oh shit! Just gotta watch that uh, depth meter. Well, this fucking biome looks intimidating. The shit is that? That's all blue and shit. Uh, sup, buddy? Ah, oh, well, they just, they just look like those stupid crab assholes, those cave crawlers, but just with longer legs and a different color. Alright, oh, well that goes fairly deep, doesn't it? Damn, dude. That goes way down in there. Oh, there's another one of those crystals. Oh, that's mercury ore. What? The fuck do we need that for? Sure, we need it for something important, but I don't know what. Oh, let's just bounce up. There we go. Need more of these. I don't know how many. Oh no, it's Mercury again. What the fuck? Too many. Oh, I've, that's all I've. Oh no, I've gotten. I've gotten one aluminium oxide. Okay. Too many things look the same. Give me a second. I'm gonna find out what my dog's barking at. I don't know what she was barking at, but she was barking at something, so. 
That's always good. So... Oh, shit. Fucking hell. So what are you? Are you Mercury again? You are Mercury ore. Well, too many fucking ores look the same, dude. Way too many. Like the, that fucking aluminium oxide should have like a pinkish tinge to it like the damn pitcher does. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. We got two pieces. I wanted to get a fair bit, but I also don't want to spend all my time around this area. If I could go deeper, I definitely would spend more time around here, but being restricted to 300 meters and stuff like that, I'm, I don't know. Welcome aboard, Captain. Also, I gotta keep an eye out for those stupid warper assholes. Which one just spawned up here, didn't he? I saw him. I saw his stupid purple bullshit. Caution. Passing safe depth. Gotta find more. More aluminium oxide. That I don't know how deep that goes, but I'm assuming it's a fucking long way. It looks like a damn long way. Oh Warning. nope. Maximum depth reached. Hull damage imminent. Maybe I can dive down to it. it. Doesn't make a lot of sense that a human being can go out here. Oh shit. The fuck was that? Oh, I'm just sitting under it. Yeah, it doesn't make a lot of sense that I can dive down into it, but this damn Seamoth with metal ridging and everything in that can't. Let's just quickly repair this too. Oh, there we go. Just barely fit through there. It looks like it goes a fair way down too. Oh shit, where the fuck do I need to go? Where did I just come in? That is not where I just came in. Where the fuck? I'm getting myself turned around, dude. This is so disorienting. Once you get in a cave, you're not exactly sure what's up, down, or anything. It doesn't seem like you, you can easily tell anyway. I mean, I think I've found, what, three pieces of that aluminium oxide? It's not really enough. Alright, this is a completely different biome now. We don't want to be in this biome. I want to move back. I think that was a completely different biome. We want to be back here. Yeah. I want to be able to see this purple shit. That's what we want. Alright. Well, I mean, we got about four pieces, five pieces or so. Something like that. So for now, that's going to do do it for this episode. But if you like this video, remember to leave a like. If you want to see more, hit that sub button. Thank you for all the support on all the Subnautica episodes. And I hope you all have a lovely day. All right, peace.